guys, I think I went through just about every season um, on the drive down here. It started off with full winter up in Park City with some dumping snow. It turned into rain and like some general sleet as we came down the mountain. And then as I continued driving west down here to Tooele, it now has turned into somewhat of a nicer um, dry spring day. However, there are some clouds in the distance. So I don't know if this stuff is working towards us or away, but either way, welcome to another episode. I don't really know what to make of this episode. I'm down here at uh, the Utah Motorsport Campus, just checking out the races and enjoying the weekend. I'm not driving anything like that but I figured it'd be cool just to come out take some photos some video um, experience a NASA weekend and essentially just sort of increase my exposure at a local track like the UMC so take it for what it is might not be too much story around it but um, just should be a nice chill day here enjoying uh, the races before on the racetrack and I don't think I've ever actually been to a NASA event which is a sanctioning body that's going on right now so I haven't really explored the UMC in terms of visibility and these smaller club events usually give you a great opportunity to be close to the cars kind of walk around the track and really be like immersed in the event where a lot of the pro level stuff is much more strict in terms of your access so I came over to this viewpoint I don't even know what turn this is but just trying to take some photos um, of the cars going around there's a little bit of everything from like actual proper race cars to people who have never been on the track before um, in their street cars so kind of an interesting mix of cars but uh, pretty pretty low-key pretty chill <laughs> It's hard to beat the smell of race fuel and the sounds of the race engines. This will just never get old. Doesn't matter if I'm driving or if I'm at the track. Just the smell, the sights, the sounds, it's really hard to beat. Seems like there's a cool little group out right now. It's like a mix of racing and not racing. It's kind of hard to describe because I see people also in the right seat. So I don't really understand how NASA does their stuff. They have like this thing called time trials or like a time attack group. So I'm just used to going out and racing, but this seems like it's a little bit different uh, than some of the other stuff that I've seen before, but still pretty cool. What a beautiful track, like absolutely picturesque setting with the mountains. Oh, that's a sweet BMW.
Unfortunately, I didn't bring any food with me in Luna, so I'm going to the Full Throttle Cafe or something like that, I believe it's called, at the Cart Center, and we'll see what we can get. back for the first session after lunch here. I'm right on the front street. There's a nice spot here without the fence for viewing purposes, which is pretty nice and taking some photos. So this is, I think like the quickest group or the most advanced race group. Seems to be some cool cup cars um, and a really stupidly loud Corvette for no reason. Like, kills my ears every time it goes past. But uh, just the views like right off the track here with these mountains are just super beautiful. Um, and I'm pretty close to the uh, track here, so it should be pretty sweet. definitely be a 911 in this thing this is almost just like too savage for even driving on the street it's, there's just so much car underneath here the gt3 is essentially what i was racing except basically in the race car version the gt3 cup car which is a factory built uh gt3 911 gt3 from porsche so it's essentially that platform just completely different car about 450 horsepower 2700 pounds um, absolutely pretty insane so to see those on the street, it's pretty cool. And I've just been mostly focusing on all the Porsches here because it's just, they're so beautiful. They really are. Damn. One of the other toys. <laughs> you got a little bit of everything, don't you? Jeez. Yeah. I'd rather have it as toys. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I love this one. I'm trying next time out. I'm gonna try to keep up with my son. Yeah? Again. Okay. I did let, I, he's 170 and I got that. And last time out, I was with him, with him, with him for like two laps. And then he made a pass. I made that pass with him, he made like two or three more passes, and then it was, I was a half a lap behind. Yeah. The weirdest thing is one of his pro drivers, instructors, driving the same car. Yeah. He's doing a 159, and my son's doing a 148. He's beating the boss 
by 10 seconds. Wow. Looks like you need a new boss. <laughs> you need a new boss. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. <laughs> right? That's a lot of fucking time. Yeah, it's almost not. If it's the same car, it just can't be right. It's something wrong. On the track. Yeah, you're not going to go 10 seconds. Right. But that's this a, is yeah. not that big an oval today. What are we running? Two miles? Yeah. Yeah. Two, two. But I think the whole thing's four, four. Yeah. And I, I think it's like a two mile. Yeah. Look at this current setup guys, we got Luna, this Honda S2000, and this like baby blue Porsche GT3, the dude just parked it here, I was like, can I take some photos of it, he's like, yeah sure, and just left, and it's got like this epic mountain background right now, so just surrounded by some pretty sick stuff, I'm a sucker for Honda S2000s as well, so that's pretty rad, but this is probably one of my most favorite colors, and just such a rad looking car, 4 liter, like, insane. What a beautiful end just a really rad day here again i don't really know what exactly this video was but i'm just trying to showcase my weekends and stuff like that and uh, i definitely want to get more involved in the sort of racing scene now that i'm back into it and uh, have this skill set um, with a camera and stuff like that because this is sort of a combination i didn't have when i raced before so i think it can be a cool way to continue growing this sort of stuff um, and connecting with other people who are into the same stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy, fam. I'll see all you guys in the next episode. <gasps> Peace out. So I caved and ended up doing some go-karting. I just bought three races, um, all rental carts. So I don't have my camera or anything with me. I can't use a GoPro, but this should still be a lot of fun. I, I tried to resist the urge, but I just couldn't. Being here, I was like, man, I want to drive. So I bought three races. <laughs>